we have to do a little movement, of course, before we warm up for music. So stretch it out. Roll your neck around just a little bit. Shoulders up and then relax. All right, I'm gonna play some music and hold up some pictures and you have to copy the motion that is on the picture. This is one of my favorite things to do with a little music in the background. things that we can do is to warm up our voices is tongue twisters which Mrs. Kurtz is not really good at so you guys might be able to get this recording better than Mrs. Kurtz so repeat after me the big black bug bit the big black bear bit the big black bear so the whole thing goes like this the big black bug bit the big black bear the big black bug bit the big black bear. Echo me one more time. The big black bug bit the big black bear. Bit the big black bear. Let's put it together. The big black bug bit the big black bear. Now, if you feel your upper lip starting to get tired, it's because you're using those muscles around your mouth. The big black bug bit the big black bear. The big black bug bit the big black bear. One more time. The big black bug bit the big black bear. That's hard for Mrs. Skirts. I bet you guys did better than I did. All right, that's tongue twister number one. And I got a whole book of them. <laughs> Acting 101. finger symbols and they're really small. We don't play them like the big percussion symbols. We don't play them that way. 
you let them hover. I like to call them little UFOs as they fly around. And you just, as you pass, you brush them against each other. So it's kind of similar that they're made out of metal like the triangle, but they're really small and they're called finger symbols. What is behind the mask? Quarter note gets one count or one beat and music. All right, let's do our snake hiss. Breathe in and then out. Make sure your back's straight, your shoulders are not by your ears. Keep them nice and relaxed. Breathe in and hiss. We started the roller coaster last week for a warm-up, and this is with a slide whistle. So you just use your voice to go up, and then all the way down. Here we go. Bigger roller coaster. Very good. Oh, I need water. Water. Water in my, my Christmas cup. <laughs> Always excited for the holiday. All right, this is called One Potato Boogie. It is by a composer named Susan Mobby. And it's kind of a counting song with potatoes. And it's actually about potatoes. <laughs> Besides, it's a boogie, is as we count the potatoes, one potato, two potato, three potato, four, that's pretty straightforward. But when we get to five, six, and seven, the number seven, you kind of have to sing that really quickly. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. And then we do the mash mash in the French fry. Here we go. Let's try part one here. is got some dynamics in it and dynamics is loud and soft so when I sing bake it I sing that kind of soft and then when I get to the part in the oven I kind of sing that louder so we're gonna use our dynamics bake it is gonna be soft or piano and then um, in the oven you can sing forte and nice and loud here we go bake.
I've got some new songs and activities coming to you next week. But for now, I'd like to end our music lesson with our See You Later song. And if you like to dance, you can get up and dance with it too. Mm -hmm.